Henry Pelham Clinton, 5th Duke of Newcastle Underline, was a British politician during the Victorian era. He married Lady Susan Hamilton, daughter of Alexander Hamilton, 10th Duke of Hamilton, on November 27, 1832. The couple had five children. In 1849, Henry commissioned the creation of a very special gift for his wife. It was an enormous diamond brooch. The brooch's monumental size creates a striking visual effect further heightened by the diamond's dazzling sparkle. It is both a captivating treasure and a piece of history. It was crafted by French jeweler Maison Baptiste, the crown jeweler to the French court. Lady Susan first wore it at Queen Victoria's royal wedding. The brooch was passed down in the family as a cherished heirloom. In 1889, Henry Pelham Clinton, 7th Duke of Newcastle gave the brooch to his wife, Kathleen Florence May, Duchess of Newcastle as a wedding present. Kathleen was a renowned socialite, esteemed dog breeder and conformation show judge. She famously wore this radiant brooch at the Devonshire Ball held to honor Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, marking 60 years in power in 1897. Kathleen later wore it as a stomacher to the coronation of King George VI in 1937, where she posed in a series of images for royal photographer Bassano. Featuring gold plating over silver and 200 carats of pear cut and old mine cushion cut diamonds, it's one of the few existing brooches of its caliber. When the Duchess of Newcastle passed away in 1955 without issue, this wonderful diamond brooch disappeared. The Duchess' belongings were spread within her remote relatives. Since this type of jewels was not very fashionable in the late 50s of the last century, the jewel most likely was sold unremarked. The brooch unexpectedly reappeared more than half a century. It was acquired by a private seller in its original fitted case and is priced at $2.7 million. It is believed that its design inspired the iconic bow brooch, worn by Empress Eugenie, wife of Napoleon III and created by Francois Kramer in 1855. It was acquired in 2008 by the Louvre Museum for $10.5 million. Both brooches display flowy, whimsical bow designs, underscoring how popular the bow shape was for jewelry at the time. 